guys welcome back to some modern man here today and today we are playing some more esper spirits and modern this deck's pretty fun people don't really play it much anymore which is unfortunate i like the deck a ton uh that's really all i have to say about the deck you're playing around synergies with rattle chains drug skull captain uh phantasmal image selfless spirit all a bunch of good spirits a mausoleum wanderer uh there's a standard deck for a split second but with that being said let's go ahead and jump right into I won the die roll. What do we think? We have not a very good hand. Uh, I think we'll try it. Not too bad. We got a turn one, Mausoleum Wanderer. Well, no, turn one, Aether Vial. Hmm. So let's go Polluted Delta Pad. Got to grab an island. Almost passed the turn without playing the Aether Vial there. That would have been real awkward. Real awkward. Uh, grab the island. Play the Aether Vial. Pass turn. What does the opponent playing? Breeding pool. Search for tomorrow. Glistener Elf. Blue green infect? It's been a while, old friend. It has been a while. I would like to take up Aether Vial. Um, let's play a Flooded Strand. Pass turn. I don't know if we can beat Infect. I really just don't know. Hmm. Pendelhaven. It's also a good one. Rancor. Ugh. Uh. Sure. Put in the Mausoleum Wander. I should have pumped it in response to me activating Aether Vial there. Because even if I am on Merfolk, I could counter his pump spell and still favorably trade. So I think that was a bit of a misplay on my opponent's half. Well, no. If they pump it, I have to sack it. So maybe not. I'll take two Infect. Is that okay? Put the Rancor back in their hand. Sure. You got another dude? They do not have another dude. That's good for us. Uh, let's crack the flooded strand. Let's grab a hallowed fountain tapped. Take up vial. Um, play polluted delta, pass turn. Oh, I probably should have played the Moorland Haunt there so I could put a 1-1 one, one Spirit in the play. But I doubt my opponent doesn't do anything this turn. So I need my Spellcaller or my Remand. What do you have, opponent? What do you have? Ink Moth Nexus. Ah, that's a good one. That is definitely a good one. Didn't think about that. Correct the Pluto Delta, get a Godless Shrine tapped. Take up Vile. Play Moorland Haunt. Cast Serum Visions. Drew a Selfless Spirit. Two more lands that I don't need. Pass turn. Windswept Heath, sure. A little land flooded from the opponent, it seems. Well, no, they still have six cards in their hand. They haven't really done much. One of them being a Rancor. What are we doing? Playing a Blighted Agent. Um, let's remand that. Cracks their windswept teeth, sure. Goes to 17. Gets a breeding pool. Untapped. Okay, that's interesting. Spell pierce. Well, let's go ahead and Aether Violin a spell queller. On. I want to hit the spell pierce. Uh, let's get Blighted Agent. Don't want to 
because then they get their uh, blighted agent back to their hand, which is not what I want. Spell Pierce is fine. Counters the remand, but now they don't have any infect creatures, and all they have is a rancor and an ink moth nexus. Uh, let's keep Aether Violet three. Attack for two with the spell queller. Play Sea Chrome Coast. Pass turn. Keep up Moorland Haunt and Path. So I can make a token with Moorland Haunt block. And see what they do. Dismember the Spell Queller, huh? That's kind of odd. Not odd, but good. Don't really have an answer to that. Yeah, that's fine. I get their Blighted Agent back. Which is not great for us. Sure. They are at 9, though. Even if I would have played my Selfless Spirit there, that wouldn't have mattered. Activate Moreland Haunt. Blue, white. Exile Mausoleum Wanderer. Make a 1-1 one, one Spirit with Flying. Sure. Still leave Aether Isle on three. It's a godless shrine. Does that do anything? Path. Yeah, so we'll play this guy untapped. Let's go white, blue, cast selfless spirit. You know, it's crazy to play against this deck right after I took out all my infect hate out of my sideboards. Attack with our spirit. Opponent goes to eight. I went through all my sideboards and uh, fixed some things that I felt like were out of date or something. I took out a lot of infect hate out of the sideboards, and apparently I should not have. Crackster Wind Foothills goes to seven. Okay. Seems pretty good for us. I have a Rancor and two randoms. Grabs another Breeding Pool tapped. What are we going to do? Are you going to get in with both infect creatures? Seems fine to me. I'd probably make a token, block Ink Moth. Uh, oh, he's just going to put all of his eggs into the Blighted Agent, huh? Oh, I should have pathed during my turn. Well, my reasoning behind not pathing during my turn was so I could, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Try to catch them, since they have a, bu a bunch of dudes. Because I'm assuming it's more than a become immense. Because they have Rancor, two randoms. They had plenty of mana. So I think my play is correct. Maybe not the best, but it's a fine play. What do you have? Ooh, no attacks? Really? Misclick, huh? Ye old misclick. Oh, they got another Blighted Agent. Sure. Oh, the MTGO misclicks. See, my thing is, uh, when they say it's an MTGO misclick, but you clicked to do it, did you not? So I'm always confused when they say that, but you know it is what it is. I'm not going to say anything about it. If we draw a draw score captain, we win the game. It's nice. Uh, I would not like to take up Aether Vile, still no. And look at that. Sometimes you risk it to get the biscuit. And that's seven damage in the air. So I don't know if my opponent had anything, anyways. But it is what it is. We win the game. Might rage quit. Set seven damage. I did get a little lucky. Oh, haha, ha, sure. 
Okay, well, now I know I have to beat this person. So, we like Zealous Persecutions. We like Spell Queller. We like Dismember. We like Blessed Alliances. We like definitely like Dark Blast. Maybe even Spell Snares? Uh, Kira's not the greatest. They don't really target our dudes very much. Remands? No, not really. Interested in Remands. Looks like you just play it again. Um, paths are good. Lingering Souls are good. Selfless Spirit seems a little weak. Hmm. So does Rattle Chains. Um, Lingering Souls blocks for days, so I'm fine with those. Drug Souls Captain protects our dudes. Yeah, it might be just take out Selfless Spirits. Doesn't seem great to me. I only have 17 dudes, so I'll actually cut Phantasmal Images and bring back in two Selfless Spirits. Well, Selfless Spirit just doesn't do anything. So, uh, yeah, we'll try it like this. Hopefully we beat my opponent because he's uh, being a booty hole. A big old booty hole. Opponent chooses to play first, I'm assuming. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, well, see you in a minute. Oh, there it goes. Not even going to see you in a minute. Now you're going to have to listen to that awkward silence. What do we think of this hand? Oh, I could have took out Aether Vials. Okay, so now we know what we're taking out for the second game. Aether Vials is not the greatest. Yeah, this hand's fine. I'll try it. I will dismember on one if I have to. Do not put it past me. Ink Moth Nexus. Sure. That's fine. I don't mind Ink Moth. Okay. Nothing from the opponent. Okay, sure. Polluted Delta, crack it. And grab a Hallowed. Well, we have a lot of black cards now. Let's grab Watery Grave. Untapped. Play the Aether Vial. Pass turn. So, what are we going to do here? Probably dismember any dude they play, but they're probably animating Ink Moth. Sure. Aether Vial, trigger. Put a counter on Aether Vial. Draw a Mausoleum Wanderer. That's also pretty good. Put Godless Shrine untapped. Pass turn. So now we just have a bunch of ways to interact with our opponent. Dismember, Mausoleum Wanderer, Rattle Chains block. Wooded Foothills, sure. No attacks. Well, I'll go ahead and put in the Mausoleum Wanderer. Always yield. I would like to put a second counter on it. Sure, another Sea Chrome Coast. That's not great. I think we're going to take off a turn of playing those Lingering Souls. Maybe. No, I think we'll play it here. Play the Lingering Souls. Pumps up our Mausoleum Wanderer by two. Go to combat. Attack for three. Now we have Rattle Chains up. Opponent takes three. I think. Yep, goes to 17, sure. Pass turn. What do you have? Crack the foothills, grab a breeding pool. What do you have? I can just chump block. Another ink moth, sure. He animated the wrong one. What a scrub. Well, maybe not. Huh. Rancor, so it's going to fall off. Uh, target spirit. Yeah, target spirit gave us a spirit. It is not a spirit. It's fine. Sure. What do you got? 
It's gonna fall off. I mean, you have to kill me here. Three, four. Uh, I guess I can double block. I mean, that's what they're there for, right? Take one infect, go to two, I get the Rancor back, Ink Moth dies. Opponent has some very questionable plays. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm going to put in a Rattle Chains, though. Get some more pressure on the board. Sure. Aether Ryle is going to stay at two, I believe. Drew a path as well. That's definitely not a bad one. I don't even think I want to play my Lingering Souls here. Because now we have Path and Dismember. I don't think my opponent wins this game. Opponent goes to 13, past turn. What do you have? And swap teeth, sure. Radiant Corruptor, huh? That's fine. Activate Aether Vial, put in Rattle Chains. Sure. Phantasmal image doesn't really do anything here. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and dismember the corruptor now. Do it now, so if they have to waste a removal spell, they have to do it during my turn. Or a pump spell to save it. And then next, we're going to flash back the Lingering Souls. Attack for five, six, seven, put them at six. Oh, crack the Windswept Teeth. Puts them at five, actually, now. You gotta pump it to save it from a dismember? Okay with that. I really am. Vines. Uh, sure. That's fine. Flashback Lingering Souls. Get some pump. Go to combat. Attack for seven. Opponent goes to five. Now they're just dead next turn, so they have to go for it. Pass turn. What do you have? What could you have? I guess you could have another protection spell, but you gotta pay one to animate your Ink Moth, Rancor, and then I'm still not dead. That's three, four, five, and I can block, block. Sure. So you're representing two in fact right now. You gotta get six more in there somehow. Become immense. Uh, with the mana open, let's make it a ten. Sure. Might be dead here. Breeding pool untapped. Sure. Well, let's path it. You got it? Is 
they have it. We're scooping it up. Yep. Okay. Going to game three. Uh, I should have did it before they attacked because I forgot about the Mausoleum Wanderer. That's awkward. Okay. Sure. Uh-huh. So now we know we don't need Aether Vials. Let's go ahead and cut those. Let's bring back in Selfless Spirits. Try it like that. Give us a little bit more pressure. Make us a little bit more of the Spirit Deck again. I really just want to win out of spite. I take my opponents a little salty. They lost the spirits. You know, I love to win those games when people get salty. What do you have? Can we get a good hand? Negative. We cannot get a good hand. Uh, we have the Dark Blast, though, which is the best card against them. Ugh. Mm. Yeah, we'll try it. We have one, two, two turns to find a third land, preferably a black source. Polluted Delta would be the best draw. Mausoleum Wanderer, pass turn. Glistener Elf. Now we need the black source right now. That is not the black source. Um, let's attack for one. reason I kept it is uh, Dark Blast is a one-of in the deck. I mean, this card is sick against Infect. Breeding Pool untapped. Noble Hierarch's fine. Tax for two, that's fine. Sure. Go to 8-2 Infect. Another Glistener else pretty good. Uh, let's flash in Rattle Chains. I guess I could have blocked. Huh. Oh. That'd be so good here. Uh, yeah, I think we're just going to block. I mean. Attack for one. Block with Rattle Chains. really would like to draw a black and a white land in the same not in the same well that'd be fine too but two different lands that produce black and white damn you more land hot damn you i will gladly trade a rattle chains for a glistener elf What do you got? Sure. Go seven. Come on, land. Nope. And we lost the game. Well, guys, sometimes you risk it to get the biscuit and you just can't. Draw the land you need, unfortunately. I think we would have won that game if we drew our Black Source. But as always, remember to comment down below with any deck suggestions, anything like that. Remember to subscribe to the channel so you can see more awesome content like this on a daily basis. Um, smash that thumbs up button if you guys have liked what you've seen. Uh, remember to follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, email me. All those links will be in the description below. And I hope you guys have a good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.